Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, we're going to talk about a secret kind of buried feature of Lightroom that a lot of photographers don't know about. This feature will allow you to share a gallery of images with a client or with your family and friends, and it doesn't involve email or uploading them to Flickr or Instagram or anything like that. This is really creating a web gallery, something similar to SmugMug or Instaproofs or Photo Shelter, and it's all built into Lightroom and it all comes with your Creative Cloud subscription. So you do need Lightroom Classic CC or Creative Cloud version of Lightroom to do this. Now, uh, what we have to do first is put all the images that we want to share in this gallery in a collection. So what you could do is you could go over here to where it says collections, click on this little plus sign, create collection. When you create your collection, one thing you want to make sure you do is click this last box, sync with Lightroom. Make sure that is checked. Um, you don't have to do really anything else specifically except make sure sync with Lightroom is checked. Of course, give it a name. Now I'm not going to create a collection because I already have one. And you also could do this with a collection you already have created, what you may have to do is just make sure that that collection is syncing with Lightroom. And to do that, for example, I have an image or I have a collection, I'm sorry, here called Forest Lawn. This currently is not syncing with Lightroom. If I want it to sync or syncing with Lightroom online, I guess I should say. Um, if I want it to sync, what I need to do is go over the far left and you can see how that little square turns into that kind of weird horizontal arrow. All I got to do is click on that. I'm not going to do it, but if you click on that, then in the background, it will sync these 95 photos up to the cloud to Lightroom. Now, I already have this collection I've called Primates. It's got 26 photos in it and it's synced. Now, what you should do after you create this synced collection is you should order the images the way you want them to appear in your web gallery. I have them ordered the way I want, but if you need to reorder them, you just click on an image and just drag it to a different position. So you could go down in the film strip down here and you could make this bigger like that if you need more room. And you could just drag these around uh, into the order you want the images to appear in. And once you do that, you have all these images in the order you want in the collection and the collection is synced with that little arrow right there. All you need to do is right click on it, then go down to Lightroom Links, and then you want to go down to Make Collection Public. Now, anyone with the website link or a website address will be able to view this collection. It's not going to show up in Google searches or anything like that but it will be public in that anyone with the link will be able to view it. So you share the link only with those you want to view it. So we're gonna make it public, just like that. And it usually will actually take a second. Let's see if we do it, we'll right click on it. And then you go back to Lightroom links and it hasn't done it yet. But once it does it, you're going to get a public link and we'll just wait till it does it. And there it did it now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy that public link. And the public link is copied to the clipboard. We'll go to a web browser and we'll put that link in there. And that's the link you'll share with your client or with your family or friends or anyone you want to share this web gallery with. And then we'll navigate, hit enter. And there is our web gallery. So your client could click on an image and then use the arrow keys to go through each of the images. Now, if they happen to have an Adobe account, they could come over here and like hit this uh, little icon and they could favorite it or add comments, but they do need an Adobe account for it. Also, this little I button is uh, info and it gives like the name of the, um, or the, you know, it's a TIFF, this happens to be a TIFF file and so on. Uh, so, um, that isn't necessarily useful information, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And if you want to go back to the grid, just hit escape and you could click on another image. You could close all this down over here. And then you could still, you could use the navigation uh, arrows over here in the lower right hand corner 
uh, if you want. You, uh, also, your client could favorite them or add comments over here on the lower left as well if they want to, but they could then just use the arrow keys to go through the images. So that is the link now that you'd save or share uh, with your client, with your family or friends, and you have this web gallery. Now when you're done with the web gallery and you don't want to have it active any longer, just right click on that collection again, go down to Lightroom Links, go down to Make Collection Private. And then when you do that, it will remove that link. That link will no longer work. And then when you go to Lightroom Links, you can see we're right back uh, where we started. Now you'll see this down here. It says there's a private link. That's actually just for you. So you could uh, view a synced gallery or a synced collection in a gallery on uh, Adobe's website. And again, that's just for you. Um, if I go to that, every synced collection I have will be there. So that's not something that you necessarily uh, want to share uh, with your client. Uh, so that's why you make it public. So that's this kind of hidden buried feature of Lightroom that I think a lot of people don't know about. But I think for many photographers, it will be really useful. You could share, you know, even images with you know, your children's uh, grandparents, you know, your mother and father want to see images and they live in another, you know, part of the world. Uh, you could easily do it uh, like that. Send that link through a text message or email and then they could look at uh, images of their, of their grandparents. Or if you just did a photo shoot with a client and you want to share those images with the client, that's another way you could do it as well. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.